Hello everybody, this is Seethercord here and welcome to another video for you guys today. For today's video, we are going to be talking about Lego sets. Yes, I have run out of ideas. We are talking about Legos, ladies and gentlemen. Furries to Legos. Look at how far we've fallen. Actually, considering furries, I probably rose up. So that's good. So I was thinking a lot this past week and even Chumi was like, I really want to play with Legos. I want to play a Lego game. And so we got out Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, a game from my childhood, and we started playing that recently. And oh my gosh, it's so freaking good. So good. So I thought, why not make a video about Legos? I had some Lego sets back in the day. I think I had one Star Wars set. I had one or two Harry Potter sets. And I think we also had just some one plain Lego set also. That was really fun. Oh yeah, and we had one SpongeBob set back in the day. That was really good as well. But anyways, for today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the most insane, questionable, weird, and downright uncanny Lego sets that have ever been released, be it official or not. So, with that all being said and out of the way, let's get into, I guess you could say, the Lego iceberg. Now, that's going to be another video for another day. But yes, it's going to be the video talking about the weirdest and craziest Lego sets altogether. So, with that all being said and out of the way, let's begin, shall we? The first one we're going to be talking about is Lego Breaking Bad. That is right, people. Lego Breaking Bad is a thing that exists. It's not officially licensed by Lego. It's a custom-made set, so uh, we have to let Lego off the hook here with this one, unfortunately. But yes, uh, a lot of parents did not respond well seeing pictures online in some news reports saying that there is a potential Walter White Breaking Bad Lego set officially out of his whole meth lab and everything from the show. Yeah, that probably wouldn't respond that well with family. Uh, more so with a uh, Brian Cranston Lego piece. I can't really uh, comprehend that a little bit. That kind of blows my mind a little bit. Again, still, it's custom made. It's not by Lego, so they can't really get blamed for this one. Some of these Lego sets, people did not respond well to them, especially parents, and they're controversial because they're like, this is too violent and everything. This is too inappropriate for my child. The Lego Indiana Jones ones have guns in them. But yeah, I guess this one's a little bit different because it's like drugs. You don't really see that in many other uh, big name brands or, you know, trademark properties. Their Lego sets have that. So that's something. But, you know, it's not really Lego. So let's move on to the next one, shall we? Up next, we got Lego Simpsons. Oh, boy. This one was very controversial with parents for the same reason as the Breaking Bad one. It's not appropriate. The Simpsons is a really adult show, or it's more of a teenage aimed show. I don't want my 9, 10 year old getting a Lego set like this with Homer Simpson with a Lego Duff beer can and everything. But on a more positive note with this one, this is seen by a lot of Lego fans as one of the best sets that they've ever released. Even having an episode of The Simpsons be fully made in Lego. I don't even like The Simpsons. I've always been more of a family guy guy. Family Guy guy? Okay. I don't watch it anymore. It's kind of too much for me now, but still, I just preferred that one for The Simpsons. But still, uh, The Simpsons is very popular, and apparently the Lego fans really enjoyed this Lego set with The Simpsons too. It must have been really true to the source material, and the Legos gave it a really nice edge to it, apparently. So this is a case where controversy ended up making more of a profit and a success for Lego. So that's cool. Yeah. Up next, we got Lego Spongebob. Now, this one's not really controversial per se, but I got to get into the level of old school YouTube. You guys know old school YouTube, you know, 2005 to 2008 or 9, where there was a lot of very strange and weird content that's been posted over 10 years ago and have a few million views or a couple hundred thousand views that people on the internet still question and ponder to this day. You know, we got to talk about the Lego Spongebob flood video on YouTube. What's a die? It's when you die and you're dead and your body parts come off. It's definitely going to be in the YouTube Hall of Fame when it comes to like weird and questionable YouTube stuff. And also a uh, Squidward Lego piece is a little um, too much for me to handle. And also Lego Plankton's just funny. He's just one little like can stud cylinder. Oh, it's so funny. Up next, we got Lego Spider-Man Tricycle. This one, uh, this one's not really controversial with the parents per se. It's more like a lot of Spider-Man and Marvel fans being like, why is Spider-Man on a tricycle? You know, it just looks funny and weird, but to me, it's just, it's glorious and it's notable because of that. So <laughs> moving on, I guess. Spider-Man on a tricycle, gotta love it. Up next, we got Lego Jabba the Hutt Palace from Star Wars. This is another case of parents being like, this is not appropriate. 
which doesn't make sense because again there's already been a lot of lego products there's been some more questionable things in lego products with you know guns and such this one depicts the job of the hut palace from star wars and you know it's like a bar women are very scrutinized in this scene in the star wars movie and they're basically recreating that in the lego set and everything and just a lot of parents just thought it wasn't appropriate so again very controversial but again very true to the source material but not okay with parents up next we got jeffrey the giraffe which is a Lego set that is based off of Jeffrey the Giraffe from the Toys R Us logo. You guys remember Toys R Us? Yeah, remember the little giraffe thing in the logo and all the advertisements? That That's him. And they made this very questionable looking Jeffrey the Giraffe in Lego, and it's official. Up next, we got another controversial one, but not for really the parents, but the environmental activists. And this is the Lego Shell Gas Station set where, you know the Shell gas stations where you can get your gasoline? Well, uh, LEGO decided to partner with them back in the day, and a lot of fans and climate activists did not like this because Shell is a very controversial company when it comes to a lot of climate activists and their input on climate change. There's even been certain movements in response to this whole thing with the LEGO set where it called for LEGO to cancel their partnership with Shell due to this whole situation. So again, this is more of a politically controversial uh, Lego set, which we actually have one more politically controversial one. We're gonna say that for the very end. Up next, we got Lego Friends, another very controversial uh, Lego set right here, or kind of like a Lego trademark, which they did for a while. And this is more not from either activists or parents. This one is from fans flat out of Legos. They are like, this is not aimed at the usual demographic. The thing is, Lego originally wanted with this set to be aimed more at the female demographic because they felt originally that it was only boys, so they wanted to hit the female demographic more, and so they did it with Lego Friends. From a critical standpoint, a lot of fans of Legos don't think these are good sets at all and that they're low quality, but they sell very well. They even spawned a video game on the Nintendo 3DS for Lego Friends, and it hit very well with the female demographic also and a lot of young girls really enjoyed this and got into Legos. So again, it's all up in the air. There's people that love it, there's people that hate it, and it's very divisive for the community of Lego fans. So Lego Friends, something that was a very good success for Lego and some of its female uh, demographic uh, consumers, but not really well responded for the fans and from a critical standpoint as well. And the last one on this list, and this is gonna make the video end on kind of a sad note, but uh, we have to do it because it is easily the most controversial Lego set. And you guys have probably heard of this before. If you've ever Googled uh, controversial Lego sets or YouTube search it or TikTok search it. And that is the Lego Concentration Camp Zbigniew Libera. I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong. So essentially a backstory to this now that your jaw's dropping a little bit and you might think, why the heck was this ever made? Well... This was a set that was created by a Polish artist known as Zbigniew Libera, and this was put up in the Jewish Museum in New York City to depict the, you know, Auschwitz camps that the Jews went to, and it was made out of Legos. You might think, oh my gosh, this is horrible, but again, this was more so just to kind of give a better understanding of that area, and the artist just wanted to use Legos. Uh, again, Lego probably regrets sponsoring this, I bet they really do. But it's very nice, and it's a good thing to add into a museum. But at the same time, LEGO heavily regrets it, and you just can't really wrap your mind around the fact that they used LEGOs for this. So, yeah. Well, that was a really, uh, you know, dark way to end off kind of a funny, silly video for the most part. <laughs> Anyways, how do you guys feel about all of these LEGO sets? Have you guys heard of all of these, or some of them you haven't heard of? Have you heard of some of these? Uh, do you guys enjoy Legos? Do you guys not? Are you guys going to buy any Lego sets in the future? Are you guys not also? Let me know down in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoy our content and want to further help out our channel, please consider donating as well as like, commenting, and subscribing. Make sure you also check out all of our other channels known as Seether Cord Games, Seether Chills, and Seether Cord Shorts, all linked down in the description down below. Thank you all again so much for watching today's video. I've been Seether Cord, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Okay, he's gonna steal from Waluigi, all right, or he's gonna call, he's gonna summon Waluigi to Bowser. Okay, what the heck? What's with the weird pose there, man? Say, no, this is a kid's game. <laughs> Let's see what he's gonna do. Bowser Revolution, I think that's gonna like equate all the coins together, I think. Oh no. Oh no, it's communism. No, Soviet Union. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> Everyone has the same. <laughs>